All right, today we are going to write a system of inequalities given a graph. So your target is, I can write a system of inequalities given a graph. I gave you two sets of steps because sometimes you're going to be able to see the y-intercept on the graph, and other times you're not going to be able to see the y-intercept on the graph. So if you can not see the y-intercept on the gra graph, this is the set of steps you're going to follow. First, you're going to pick one line. You're going to find two points on that line and use those two points to find the slope. You can find the slope using the slope formula or the slope triangle. Remember, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. After you find the slope, then you can find locate the y-intercept on your graph and then plug your slope and y-intercept into the y-intercept form of the equation, which is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. After you have the equation, then you're going to change it into an inequality by determining what inequality sign you need to use, and then you're going to repeat these steps for the second line or third line if you have more than two. If your line does not give you the y-intercept, then these are the steps you should follow. You're going to pick one line. You're going to find two points on the line. You're going to use the two points to find the slope, either with the slope formula or the slope triangle. Then you're going to use one point and the slope to write an equation in point-slope form. And remember, point-slope form is y equals y1 plus m times x minus x1, where m is your slope and x and y are the values of the point you used from the line. After that, you're going to convert into y-intercept form by distributing the slope and collecting your like terms. And then you're going to determine the inequality sign and repeat for the second line if needed. Let's try some examples with our steps to follow. My first example. So I'm going to pick a line to solve first, and I'm going to do the dashed line because I see I can locate the y-intercept. So to write the equation of the dashed line, I locate my y-intercept, which is right here. So I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So my b is 3. And now my slope, I'm going to find a second point on my line, which is right here, and I'm going to use the slope triangle. I'm going to fall 1, so that's a negative 1, and run 2 to the right, so that's a positive 2. So remember, my slope is rise over run, so I have negative 1 over 2. Now I'm ready to write it as an equation. So I got y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. But now I want to change this equal sign. I want to change it to an inequality. So I look at my line. I see that it's dashed. So I'm not going to have the equal to sign. And I see that the shading here that's shaded in is above the line. So that means y is going to be greater than negative 1 half x plus 3. So there's my inequality for the dashed line. Now I'm going to write the equation for the solid line. But as you see here, I cannot see my y-intercept, so I'm going to have to use the second set of steps. So I'm going to locate two points on this line. I have, I'm going to use my intersection point, and I'm also going to use that point right there. So my two points, I'm going to label them. This point is x is 2, y is 2, so it's the point 2, 2. And this point is 3, 4. So I'm going to find my slope. I'm going to use my slope formula. Remember, this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So I'm going to do 4 minus 2 over 3 minus 1. So I get 2 over 1, which is just 2. And now I'm going to use my point-slope formula. And I'm going to plug in y1. I'm going to use this point right here. My y1 is 4 plus my slope, which is 2, times x minus 3. Now I'm going to switch to intercept form by distributing. 
So y equals 4 plus 2x minus 3. Collect like terms. y equals 2x plus 1. Now I'm ready to switch to my inequality. So I have to say, okay, what's happening with the inequality? Oh, I made a mistake. Apologize. Go back. See if you can see it. I didn't multiply the 2 times the negative 3 when I distributed. That should be a negative 6. So then two, 4 minus 6 gives you a negative 2. So this should be 2x minus 2. Sorry for that mistake. All right, now I'm ready to determine what my inequality is going to be. And you can't see it, so I'm going to move it up. There we go. Now I'm going to determine what my inequality is going to be. And I see that here's my solid line. So I'm going to have the equal to sign, and it's shaded here, which is underneath the line. So this is going to be y is less than or equal to 2x minus 2. Now I want to state my system as my answer, because the question was, what is the system to this graph? So my system is y is greater than negative 1 half x plus 3, and y is less than or equal to 2x minus 2. There's my example one. Example two is a little bit tricky. Example two, if you look, you look at the x-axis and you see that each mark goes by two. So if I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put in my hash marks in the middle so that now here's one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven. You always have to check your scale to make sure it goes by one. And if it doesn't, you can adjust it or make sure you calculate accordingly. The x -ax sorry, this is the x-axis. It goes by two, so we made it go by one. I think I said y. The y-axis does go by one, so we don't need to change anything there. So I'm going to start with my dashed line. Both of these lines, you can see the y-intercept, so I'm going to use the y equals mx plus b form. So of my dashed line, my y-intercept is 2, so b equals 2. Now we just have to find the slope. So I need to find another point on my line. So I look here, and I see that I do have this point, which is 0, 3. So if I use my slope triangle, I'm going to fall 1, 2, so that's a negative 2, and I'm going to run 1, 2, 3 to the right. So my slope is negative 2 over 3. So the equation for this line will be y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. And now I'm ready to determine the inequality. I need to change this equal sign. So I see it's a dashed line and it's shaded above the line. So it's going to be y is greater than negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Now I'm ready to find the inequality for the solid line. I see the y-intercept here is 1, so b is 1. And my slope, if I'm going to go from here to here, or from here to here, I can use it right here because it's a little bit um, clearer since I did my slope triangle there. I see that I'm going to go up 1, so I'm rising 1. And I'm running, remember, this has a mark in between, so I'm running 1, 2. So my slope is 1 over 2, which is 1 half. So the equation of my line is y equals 1 half x plus 1. And now I'm ready to determine the inequality. So this equal sign needs to change to, it is equal to, and it's shaded above, so y is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 1. So my system of inequalities is y is greater than negative 2 thirds x plus 2 and y is less than or equal to 1 half x plus 1. All right, example number three is a little bit different because it has three lines instead of two lines. All right, so for this one, I'm going to first write the equation of the vertical line. So the vertical line is the one that goes straight up and down. 
And remember, we've talked about this many times, that this is x equals a number. So we see what x value this line goes through. So here's 0, 1, 2. So the line is x equals 2. But since it's an inequality, we have to determine what that equal sign changes to. So it's going to be x. It's a dashed line, so it's only going to be less than or greater than. And since the shading here, you see, is shaded to the left, which is the x values that are less than 2, x is less than 2. Now I'm going to write the equation for the horizontal line. Here's the horizontal line right here. So that's always going to be a y equals equation. And so I see that it's going through the y value 1, 2, 3 of y equals 3. Now I have to determine the inequality that goes with that. I can see that I'm shaded underneath that line here. So that is going to be y is less than 3. And then finally, we just have to write the equation of the slanted line. And this one's nice too because it has the y-intercept. Here's the y-intercept. It has, happens to be 0. So b is 0. And if I find another point on the line, I see that I have a point right here. So my slope is going up 1 and to the left, 1, 2, 3. So that's a slope of 1 over negative 3. So my equation is y equals negative 1 third x plus 0. But I need to change my equal sign to an inequality. It is a solid line, so I'm going to have that equal to. And you can see with this line, the shading is above it. So we got y is greater than or equal to negative 1 third x. We don't have to write the plus 0. It just goes away. Right, so my system of inequalities is y is greater than or equal to negative one-third x, y is less than, sorry, not x, y is less than 3, and x is less than 2. So there is your system of inequalities. All right, you have a fourth problem. So I'd like you to take this fourth problem and try it and show it to me in class tomorrow. I'll be looking for the correct answer. I look forward to working with you guys tomorrow on more of these types of problems where you are solving, or sorry, writing a system of inequalities given a graph. Have a good evening.